Yo, what's good, what's good, what's good? Yo, 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 what's good, everybody? Oh my god, okay. <laughs> I gotta open up the game. Okay, where is his stream? I fucking closed it. Hello, hello. Hello there, Mr. Coach. <laughs> how's it going? How's it going? It's going, going good. good. It's going good. It's uh, my second day of playing Tekken. So, gotcha. Uh, I'm, I'm still still trying to learn the game. Okay. Yeah, I saw. So you got some combos. You got your your back one combo and the armor move and stuff like that. Uh, what else have you? Uh, what else has you kind of figured out? It looks like the notation kind of makes sense too. Well. Should I be playing Steve is the question. Oh, that's a really good question. Are you solely trying to beat Skara and the gang? Are you trying to like play Tekken for like a decent amount of time? Because I think that depends. That depends on that. Mm. I think... Hmm. I... Hmm. I'll be playing Tekken. I'll be going to Evo and playing Tekken. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, okay. So how I've always felt about Steve is that the like initial learning curve is really high. But if you really feel like solid with him, like the very basics, he becomes very straightforward. Um, at least that was the case in Tekken 7. He's a bit different now. But like uh, I played him a bunch yesterday and my impression is kind of similar. So... He's super solid, and it might be rough at first, but I think in the long term, especially by Evo, it might become straightforward. Maybe. That's my, that's my rough assessment at this time. Who else would you I, consider if you were going to play somebody else? Well, I like 
characters that are kind of easy. Yeah. Like, I like playing E Honda. Okay. So if you like the E Honda play style, King is solid. King is really solid for that. Um, who else would be really good? Honestly, King is that guy. Uh, Claudio is kind of straightforward. Um, both of those characters have like pretty decently simple execution, and the game plan is really straightforward too. Um, but Steve isn't bad. Like especially there, he has a lot of like basics that are really, really. You can you can you can play into the basics and. Uh, Again, initial learning curve kind of high, but then he gets pretty straightforward. But if you're trying to go like, I just want to rob everybody around me, I want to do something really easy for me, King would be the move. Would people look down on me because I play King? Would people look down on you because you play King? I'm, it's hard to say. There's so much community hype for King, right? So like, you'll get salty people online who'll be mad, but like, King is the people's champ. You know, some of the most famous American players are King players. You know what I mean? So it, it's hard to say. It's hard to say. <laughs> people will be mad losing to you. But will people from the outside look down on you? It's hard, it, it's hard to say. People like Steve objectively, though. People do think Steve is very cool. Well, people hate King because he's just so strong and overpowered. So yeah. I should play him. That's my but... attitude, too, is that if you're just trying to get in there... And play was good. King is good. King is really good in this game. Uh, but Steve makes me feel like I'm cool. Like, oh my god, he's a Steve player. He's ducking and weaving and boxing. I think. I think the it just by that alone, you should play Steve. I am a I'm a believer that Tekken is so hard that you have to pick somebody that's fun to lose on. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're right. Yeah. You're right. I'm going to pick Victor as my dummy because yes, that's yes. my star place. Yeah. Okay. So let's see. You know, you know some basic combos. Uh, notation kind of makes sense. Um, how do you feel about like the basics of like attacking and blocking, like high, mid, low uh, throws, things like that? What do you know about that? Um. Well, I have this weird thing, like, because I'm using an Xbox controller. Right. My one throw is the easiest one for me to hit because you right. just hit uh, one and three together. Mm -hmm. But then it's very easy to get out of because it's the only throw I do. Yeah. Do you have uh, custom binds? Uh, Albert gave me um, like one and two and one and three. I mean, two and three. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I do have a few of those. Okay, so already for your other throw, you have up forward, one plus two, and you can use the bind on your trigger for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got a little throw mix up there. Oh, uh, no, I don't like being on this side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So that's already one you could do. Another throw that Steve has that's really good, and I'll, I'll talk about this more later, but if you hit forward three plus four, he goes into peekaboo stance. Or three plus four. Yeah, yeah. And then one plus two out of this stance, just by itself, uh, is a super fast throw. That's really hard to break. This throw is sick. So, if you get into this stance, and we can talk about the different ways to do that, uh, you, you will like, talk about some setups and stuff like that, then you got that throw, which is nasty. So, mm -hmm. but yeah, um... Uh, yeah, very basic attack, and I think you, I think you already pointed out, uh, like, you know, you got your mid pokes and your low pokes, like mid hits them if they duck, and then low hits them if they're standing, right? And then mm -hmm. highs are kind of more like, you, you, you throw it out while people are moving around, maybe you can interrupt them, and Steve has some really good highs. I think the best one uh, from, go ahead. Is, uh, what's a good mid poke for Steve? Yeah, yeah, so Steve's mids, if you could do, uh, are you familiar with, if I say QCF, what that input is? Oh god, I'm 32. I can't. It's like <laughs> I'm, on, I'm on an Xbox D-pad, quarter circle forward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So try it on the D-pad. I know people who actually will do it on the stick. Like they'll do the input on the analog stick. I don't know if I can confidently recommend that, but QCF1 is Steve's like best mid. This mid is insane. Yeah, this mid is crazy. Right at the wall, it'll wall splat them, so you get a combo. Uh, in the open. It has like huge range. It's like really safe. This move is insane. This move is really, really good. So you want to get really comfortable with that. That move is also pretty good. His up forward one is how you can like jump over lows. 
a four. And I'll I'll write all these down oh. and try to make like a little cheat sheet. Uh, Got it. QCF one, up four one, and then another really good mid is his running two. Yeah, this mid is insane. So, Steve is usually a pretty like, uh, he he wants to counter hit the opponent, right? He wants to like catch you coming into mm -hmm. him. Pause. But the uh, the the strength of his offense is that if you decide to chill out against him, he could do that running too, and he can mm -hmm. he gets so many frames, he gets like a strong mix up. It's really nasty. So, so your key mids are probably QCF one, up forward one, and while running two, and you yeah, mostly yeah. use these um, okay. when your opponent is either like chilling out a bit. Like if your opponent's spamming attacks on you, we have our counter hits. But if they're kind of chilling out a bit. Then we look for these. Okay. Um, so your back one is obviously really good. Another one that's really, really sick is one, two, one. Yeah, just those three. So one, two, one is insane. It does 31 damage. Um, it's all guaranteed on counter hit. And it's not one of those strings that's like, oh, they can just start ducking it, right? Because if they try to duck after, you have one, two, one, and then you hit two at the end. So it's literally just one, two, one, two. And the fourth hit is a mid. So if they try to duck and you know play games around that, the mid usually comes out so fast they can't get a punish or anything. But we usually just do the first three hits because the first three hits are all guaranteed on counter hit. So if our back one is feeling too slow, like they're rushing us down and it's too hard to find it, one two one is our backup plan. It's like, oh, I could do this for free and it's really, really fast and it goes super far, tracking, all of that. Mm -hmm. um, and then kilos, you already found down back two. That one's pretty good. Um, another one you have is just down one. Down one is a lot faster. It doesn't seem mm -hmm. like a lot, but just a few down ones can make your opponent annoyed enough that you can find your counter hits again. So when I throw these out, there's no follow up, right? I'm just poking them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of Steve, uh, for the main moves we're talking about here, are going to be like single hits, uh, mm -hmm. and then we can talk about a bunch of the stances and the follow ups later. Um, so let's see other lows. I mentioned down one. We found down back two. And then we have, when you're standing right in their face, down back 3-2. Down back 3-2. Yeah, it's a two hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This oh. is really good. And then he goes into this stance with uh, three options. So uh, we'll talk about that in a bit. But this low is super good, especially when you mix it up with that QCF1 because they come out at very similar speeds. So your opponent has to really guess. Uh... Yeah. Okay. The difference okay. is obviously the range, but uh, when you're at like the wall or in an up close situation, that becomes less of a problem. Um. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. We got the key highs, key mids, key lows. I gave you a couple throws already. You have your generic one, and then you have up forward one plus two. He has this crazy quarter circle back throw that is kind of ridiculous to do, but. Uh, you might be able to get away with not doing that for now. We'll, we'll, we'll see if we'll see if as we go along if it's needed. Um, I'm pulling up Steve here on my side so I can uh, make sure I have everything covered. Yeah, yeah, the peekaboo throw, super good. Peekaboo one plus two. Okay, so oh oh, one other mid that I need to cover is uh, down forward two. Down forward two. Yeah. Down. Forward to. Yeah, so this is a big counter hit mid, but to get the value out of it, it takes a few inputs. So this is where Steve is usually kind of seen as a bit difficult, but I think it'll be okay. So you down forward two, and then you hit forward three right after. So down forward two, forward three. Yeah, and then you see how he ducks after? Mm -hmm. This makes it safe. So if you just down forward two by itself, uh, it has different properties, but if you cancel it into that ducking stance, then it's a bit more chill, right? He gets better. He gets a better situation. And the follow-up on counter hit, uh, I'll just introduce this, and we can like grind it out later and stuff like that. But the follow-up is you do down forward two, and then you do that forward three, and then you mash one plus two. Do that forward three. Yeah. So you do down forward two, and then you do forward three, which we'll call like duck cancel. But uh -huh. it's just when he ducks in after, yeah. Yeah, and then you do one and two. Yeah, and then you'll mash just the one plus two trigger over and over. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. 
I know it's a lot. I know it's a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. If you do it fast enough, it's guaranteed. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So, so you've seen that. Uh, that might take a bit, but basically that's something we'll keep in mind. So now we have Steve, more or less Steve's like basic moves. He has the high counter hits. That's his mid counter hit. And then we don't really counter hit with lows that often, although down back two does have that property. So if that ha if that happens, uh, we can talk about some follow ups too. But that's the basic stuff. And then one other key move that's really important is just one plus two by itself. Yeah, Sonic Fang. So this is our main like whiff punish. So we're just like moving around. The opponent kind of swings in the open, and like we want to punish him for that. Ooh. This move goes so far. It's really really fast. It's like a it's a really straightforward whiff punish, and it's really really nice because you get into heat and you get all this other stuff. At the end of your heat dash, I feel like it just becomes a guessing game on what they will do and what you would do, right? Because yeah, a yeah. lot of times I just like to go straight for the grab here. That's not bad. You have some other really cool options too. So so if you if you look at the frame data just briefly when you uh, when you hit that, you're like plus 17. And basically mm -hmm. at that, when it's that big, you can pretty much do whatever you want. Like even if they rage art, like your if you do a fast enough move, it'll beat them. So uh, usually what uh, Steve players I see like to do is they'll they'll hit the heat engage and then they'll go for that stomp the down back three two down back three two yeah so you'll hit the oh yeah, yeah. you can just try it in the open okay yeah, yeah so they'll do that after the heat engage or they'll do the running two and that becomes their like mid low mix up yeah yeah and then if you hit it and you hold forward you get that cancel where you can continue a combo um you see how they fly in the air like that then you get your basic combo that you did for back one i think it'll be the same one okay okay yeah yeah okay okay um this might be a good chance to teach you the very standard Steve Wall combo. Um, it's, yeah, okay, let me think. I'm going to type it in the chat just so you can see it. But, because uh, it's got a few inputs. But once you get it, it's very straightforward. 2-1 back, let's see. Okay, so let me share my screen and show you what it looks like visually. And then... Once you, the, the reason why I think this is kind of important is because um, if you can get this, you get so much damage off of just like one interaction that it makes it easier to just keep, keep beating people up because you don't have to outplay them very much. You just get a couple insane hits on them and then, they, and then you win. So let me change the stage to the same one um, and just show what this wall combo looks like. Okay, is my screen showing up okay? Uh, I'm just watching through your stream. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah. So let's see, I'll do this combo. Uh, I'll do the same one. Just... Okay. And this is the wall combo. Alright, so... How it works is, I'll reset at the wall. Uh, there's three parts to it. The parts are two, one, back. And then he does this little, this little dance with the one hand by his chin. Two, one, back. Out of that, you hit forward three to duck forward. So two, one, back is the first step. Forward three is the second step. And then the third step is you mash the Gatling gun punches. So off of a wall splat like this, it looks like that. And I'm just doing up forward four here to get the wall splat. Or even better, we do QCF one. But it's two, one back, dash forward, and then do that Gatling gun. Um, and those stance cancels will probably be the most like immediately taxing part of playing Steve. But once you have that all committed to like muscle memory, he becomes very like plug and play. The whole game becomes looking for um, looking for these counter hits, 
uh, finding these in the open, and then just running a bunch of pressure with this. Running a bunch of pressure with this. Little guard break. Right, he has a lot of stuff in the open gets easier once the muscle memory of all this is like down pat. But that's probably my Steve basic rundown. Counter hits, some small pokes if you need it, and then once you get like pressure at the wall, it's kind of disgusting because he can he can do this for free as much as many times as he wants, and if you're really turtling up, he can step on your feet. <laughs> gotcha. So I do the two one, and then I hold back to essentially cancel and then i go into a duck yeah and then so the, the gatling the back puts you in a stance that lets you duck right away that's the reason we do it okay yeah okay. yeah yeah that, that was exactly it and at the wall it's even more lenient so uh what's a simple wall splat to test you could use up forward four just to practice this up Forward. A little hop kick. Oh, sorry. Up forward. Yeah. Uh, Oops. Okay. Oh. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay. Nope. For, uh, yeah, yeah, that's exactly what it's going to look like. And then you just slowly speed it up. I'll write this down too as like a drill you can do, I guess, if you decide to warm up and stuff. Yup, yeah. yeah. And then as you speed up the time between the duck, uh, that's how you get it to the point where it'll like be one straight combo. Gotcha. You know, I'll, I'll learn the wall combos later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll, I'll just give it to you so you can see it, and then we can, we can grind out all of that later. And like that will be very serviceable too, what you're doing. One thing you can also do uh, in, the, in the practice mode settings is um, uh. at the very top, yeah. Uh, where it says wake up, uh, like five down, I think, or six. Uh -huh. Yeah, set that. Oh, not sorry. The one right above that ground technique. Set them to, yeah, side ukemi right. This basically helps you know if your combo is like true or not. So like they'll roll out of your combo if it's not a true combo. And... So that's having that setting is really good for that. Cool. Yeah. So if they do that side roll and your combo doesn't connect, that's how you know, like, oh, okay, my combo doesn't actually work. Cool. And then, basically, the last two things I think are really good when you're, like, getting into the game is just having, like, two basic punishes. So, like, if you block something and it's unsafe, you usually want to hit 1-1-2. One, one, yeah. Okay. You get 28 damage, and Steve is plus 4 when you hit 1-1-2, one, one, right? So that means... If they try to challenge you and you hit back one, you blow them up because of the plus four and your back one is 13 frames. So it'll be faster than usually the fastest thing they can do. Okay. The other good punish, if they, if somebody's like, if somebody in chat's yelling at you like, oh, it's launch, oh, it's launch or something like that, or like, that's launch punishable, then you usually hit Sonic Fang as Steve, the one plus two. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Steve doesn't get an easy uh, yeah. launch punishers, huh? He doesn't get an easy launch. Uh, his 15 frame punish for like a rage art is just forward one plus two, and then you kind of mash it to get the second punch. Yeah. So if somebody, oh. if you block a rage art, you're gonna do that. Okay. So yeah, one one two, Sonic Fang, and then at 15 frames you have forward one plus two two. Can I use forward one plus two for other punishes besides rage art? Yeah, anything 15 frames or worse. So if they go like minus 15 or if somebody tells you that's launch punishable, then you do forward 1 plus 2, 2. Uh. And then his, if you block like a low, his punishes are pretty straightforward. Uh, it'll just be while standing 1, 2 or while rising 1, 2. Yeah. Oh, 1 and then 2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Perfect. Uh. Yeah. 
And this also leaves you at a really good frame advantage to throw a back one after if they decide to press. Got it. Yeah. Um. So that's while standing one or while right, while standing one two, and then his he doesn't have a launch out of crouch until 18 frames. So usually if you block a low and you see them like stagger, like like you block their leg and like uh oh yeah we can do this actually. Um, go ahead to the practice settings. Uh, where it says offense at the top, change that to defense, and then CPU opponent action one. Um, let's just select from the move list. This will be easier. All right, now we have to scroll down, and I have to find it. Uh, we're looking for down back four. Down back. Oh, it should be a few more down. The uh, directions go like clockwise in the move list. Uh, there we go. Welcome oh. sweep. Sweet. To have him play this, uh, you should be able to back out now. And then select B, I think. We'll get him to start it. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, yeah. So block this. And you see how his leg staggers? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when that happens against most characters, you get like a big punish. And Steve's is from crouch, you do down forward two without standing oh, up. Crouch, down forward two without crouch. Huh? Yeah, yeah. So you just have to like move your hand to the down forward two. Down for two. Yeah. That is so hard. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let me let me double check that you can. Yeah, you have to keep holding it. That's probably a bit tough on the clicky D-pad. But hopefully that Victrix controller will be a bit easier. <laughs> but yeah, basically you're gonna use while rising one two for almost everything, and you only use oh. that one if they like stagger. Okay. Yeah. So Steve, it's awkward because he doesn't get the good launch, but in every other situation, his punish is pretty uh, straightforward. Uh, one thing I struggle with is once my opponent goes into like a long combo and I'm blocking, yeah. I don't know when their combo's ending uh -huh. so that I can throw out a jab. Yes. Okay. That's that's good. So um, two components to that. One is there is an element of getting into ranked and just getting bodied by it a few times so you can like see how each character does it. And then two, there's some generic Tekken rules that I like to uh, give to people. So um, in general, a lot of the strings that people do, like if they're just pressuring your block or something, they're probably like anywhere from two to four hits and then they're done. After they finish that, unless they go into a stance or something, they have to stop. So we can actually record another victor move or select another victor move, and I can use that as like a visual example. Um, yeah, go ahead, select from move list, and this will be near the top. Um, we're looking for some of the punch strings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go to that forward 222 two, two or something. I think it's around 30. Yeah, yeah, forward to the uh, 28. Gorla gone. So this has four buttons. Yeah, yeah. So as long as you block the whole thing, and the string ends, then you get a punish usually, if it ends in a mid. So this move ends in a mid, and you can see in the frame data that you get plus 15, this means you can Sonic Fang him, because your Sonic Fang is a 14. 1-1-2 one, one, is also never a bad choice. As long as you get your damage, it's okay. The optimal punish can honestly wait. Yeah. So, strings that opponents throw at you, I find that uh, usually anywhere from two to four hits, sometimes five, but if you really just stand block there and let them do it to you, it'll help you start to recognize like, oh, this, this string has this many things to do. And then instead of just jabbing to get through it, you Steve can do one, two, one. Steve can look to back one. But uh, definitely just the, the act of not dying to the string in the middle of it will save you a lot of like, HP and win you a lot of rounds. Got it. Am I so also why why is my character blocking without any input? Is that normal? Um yes, yeah, so you can guard with a neutral input, but it's a worse guard. It like can get broken by certain things. So holding back is almost always better. Um there's some other victor strings. I guess yeah, you'll be fighting Scar. So there are other vic uh, victor strings to know. Um he has uh let's see. 
I would just say, yeah, pick any that have like three button inputs, right? Like like three, a string of like three or more. These will be good. Yes, that one's good. Let's look at this. Yeah, this one's good. It says plus 13. So for simplicity, I would just one one to it. What happens if there are strings that has low? Uh, are, are there strings with lows in them? Uh, some strings have lows in them. They're usually very bad. They, as in, they don't lead to a combo or they don't lead to... Uh, anything super crazy but um the mix-up with tekken strings is usually mid and high where the mid is unsafe uh, and the high is safe but duckable uh, there are a few characters with low strings in them and like maybe like one string that will like actually launch you the rest are like they're they're usually uh very very like benign not like a big deal is there reason because most people don't block low and they don't want people to well, like, I imagine a character that has a lot of good lows would be really OP because people aren't conditioned to block low. Yeah, yeah. So generally, like, Dragonov right now is really scary because he has so many different lows that come at so many different timings, and his mids also still blow you up. So, like, uh, Dragonov is an example. Uh, Devilgen's lows are pretty scary because they, like, start combos. They're not just, like, big poke lows or knockdown lows. Um, as Steve... If they have a low that kind of ducks down, you have the benefit of doing either down forward two or up forward one to like the down forward two will counter hit it. The up forward one might jump over it. And your running two also will jump over lows. So you have a few like uh, quick counters to that uh, that are still pretty safe. Like you're not taking a risk of like dying for doing that. Uh, Obviously, so the if I see them do a lot of lows, I just need them in the face. Yeah, so this isn't very high reward, but it's kind of nice, especially if you're trying to, like, kill somebody and they start throwing out lows that might, like, you know, counter hit launch. Like, Victor's low, if it counter hits you, he gets a combo. So if you're trying to finish off a of Victor, up forward one is kind of nice for that. Um, but if you, if you really think they're going low, like, you have a really hard read, up forward two is your, like, big punish for that, because it starts a full combo. Oh... And I can potentially jump over the low. Gotcha. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. Um, I can send you combos for all of these uh, too, but that should work too. Yeah, the four two two works there. Nice. But yeah, I think I dumped so much info on you. It's uh, if you wanted to hop into games, that would be a good time too. I can keep watching and. Uh, we can start to those figure players out players that forget everything the moment I step into rank. That's how I feel too. I'm not going to lie. I, my chat always flames me for like, this isn't the combo we told you to do. I'm like, yeah, I know, bro. I'm like, <laughs> also, if I ever get, okay. Is there a, is there a merit to playing on the right at the start and do a move that puts you on the left where you're more experienced, but oh. the other guy won't be experienced. Oh, you're meta gaming already. I like that. Yeah. So everyone plays on the left and they can't play on the right. Yeah, you can kind of you could probably Wow, that's like a that's like a tournament winning strat. I would have saved that. <laughs> that's pretty good. Yeah, you could do that. You obviously run the risk of if they like if they can counter your side swap right away, then you're cooked, right? But like uh that's not a bad strategy, especially with uh Steve having the 1 plus 2 throw that can do that. Yeah, like So that's oh, very valid. Like Imagine yeah. me starting on the right. And yeah, yeah, and you hit that throw. Then, yeah, yeah, I do this, and then I'm in my like comfort zone, and they're thrown off. Yeah, and 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 that has a dual benefit too because um, generally when people are on their offside, they hit they like to hit more buttons, or they like to freeze up completely. But they usually hit more buttons, and Steve loves it when the opponent hits more buttons, right, with the back one and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, I think. It's okay, we're fighting a kid. Oh god, which button do I press to get out of his Br London Bridge death rolling cradle? Uh, <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna look at this and we're gonna we're gonna go through the grinder because this is uh, gonna be tough. But I'm gonna like a lot of one two one against King. One two one. Yeah yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, nice grab. There we go. Yeah, yeah. That was a good, yeah, that was a good whiff punish attempt. I like that. Okay, grab him up. He can't break throws. 
There we go. That's the right idea for sure. It's like he's whiffing in the open. We hit the one plus two. Yo, what's up, stoners? Thank you so much oh, for the raid, Eris. Holy shit! Hope I'm you're having a good evening. Bus. We had a good stream. Come on. Good to see y'all. I gotta get back to my coaching oh. duties, but uh, I really appreciate it. Cheers, bro. He's pointing at me! When he knees you like that, you can and you block it, you can throw that 1-1-2. One, one, oh my god, dancing on him? Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, when he points at me, what should I do? Block? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Block, and then we'll see if he goes to the throw. Nice. Ooh. That's close, that's close. I like that. Nice, nice. We'll punish. Here we go. Oh my god, yeah. unblockable? <laughs> okay, he did his armor move. Nice, nice interrupt. Round four. Fight. Nice. Oh. oh yeah, when, when King's in heat, he has that disgusting heat smash that's mid, does 50 damage, breaks the floor, stuff like that. So you have to do a lot of blocking. Oh, here we go. Nice. Nice. Yup. Oh my god. With punish master and unblockable master. <laughs> okay, those whiff punishes were nasty for real. Okay. Okay, okay, we can we can uh we can work with that for real. This is fire. <laughs> Sidestep opener! Oh, oh, it's okay, it's okay, we cooked you him. Can't block. Oh, wait, I didn't do it. <laughs> oh, side throw. Okay. Hey! Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Don't! Nice, right, okay, yeah, that works. Oh. <laughs> Oh shit, what a read. Damn. <laughs> this guy ain't shit! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <clears throat> nice. Whoa. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> so he's doing that? Yeah, yeah, you can just keep blocking. It does no chip damage or stuff like that, right? So that's one option. You can also do a duck and like while standing one too. This is a scrap. Oh my god. Oh, does that work? He's ground. Oh my god, it worked! Let's go! It's the knockout one! <laughs> For Queen Elizabeth! Oh my god. Good night. <laughs> Round three. Fight. For Queen Elizabeth. <laughs> oh. Whoa. Holy shit. Oh my god, he's activated. Oh, okay. What you gonna do? What you gonna do? <laughs> oh, here comes the punish! Yup, the punish! Yup! <laughs> oh, 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 yes. Hey, back it up! Back it up! Okay. Yo, oh, this is sick. Nice. Hey, give me a hug. Oh! <laughs> oh! oh back I one! Just... Ow! No more okay. Now. Oh. Oh, oh. I'm on the other side, but he just. It's okay. 
Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh! Oh, the frames! He's playing the frames. I love it. Yeah, that was clean. Yeah, I think okay. I could have done better. Well, first of all, let's celebrate what is going crazy. That whiff punishment game is on lock. I already love that. So we'll keep that up. Uh, you can turn those one ones into one two ones. Yeah, yeah. I, it's, it's like because I don't know if the first one's gonna hit. Yeah, yeah. So so it's all safe. So even if it doesn't hit, you're chilling. You just hit one two one and then you block after, and then nothing happens to you. Got it. So yeah, I yeah. Could, like when I throw out a jab, I should always just a one two one. For so, Steve, like, yeah. Steve, okay. Steve throwing out one two one is nasty. It's really really good. Okay. And then if they start playing the game after, you do like one two one two. You just finish the last hit. Got it. Get ready for the next battle. So let me let me show you one other thing really quick when you do that one two one. So do one two one two. Uh, one two one. Right. One two one two. Yeah, and then after this, you just want oh. to hit forward three after, and that just makes it safe. Oh, uh, with the duck. Yeah, yeah. You just do the duck cancel after the last hit, and then that's it. Yeah. And then to leave the duck, you can hold like down back, like just a crouching block. So it's going to feel like a lot of inputs, but it's really just duck cancel out of it and then block and then you'll be good. Yeah. So you use one, two, one mainly and you use that if they start mashing on you after. Yeah, go ahead and match up again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That fourth hit is going to body so many people who are like, he's doing one, two, three. I'm going to hit him now. And then <laughs> one, two, three, four. And then like the uh... mileage you can get out of that, even all the way up to like high level is crazy. Because people hate blocking against Steve over and over. Is one, two, three, four, is the four hit combo safe? Yes, when you do the duck cancel, it, it's completely safe. Okay. So that's why we'll, we'll, we'll add that in eventually. Also, I trolled not giving you a certain low. I'll talk about that after this. Okay. Round one. Fight. Fuck you gonna do? Fuck you gonna? Hold <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You gonna play safe? You gonna play safe? Give me a hug. <laughs> Mm. Let's go. You try to hit me? You try to hit me? <laughs> Give me a hug. Oh, God. Oh, my God, yes. Yeah. Hit. Holy hit. shit. Oh. Round two. What you gonna do? Oh, 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 God. Oh, shit. One, two, three. One, two. Hit. Yeah, and oh. two to come. <laughs> Wait, that's a fire right combo. Him, head smack, go for the grab, punch him in the stomach, go for the... Oh, okay, okay. oh God. Lows, my weakness. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. You can take a lot of lows. Oh, grab counter hit. Or on a parry. Oh, it's over. Oh, my God. <laughs> nice. Okay, instead of doing my cheese move, I should probably learn something else. Not, I mean, it, it's cool, you know, we're, we're, we're gonna work with what you have right now, and we'll integrate other things. One, two, one. Yeah, one, one two, one. one. Here we go, yup. One, yeah. two, one. Yup. <laughs> one, two, oh. Oh, God. Okay. My God. <laughs> <gasps> Counter hit grab. On the armor. Oh, I think it kills. No, 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 no. no. She, she doried me. <laughs> Round four. Fight. Oh, wait, that, that was almost hard. One, two. Yup. 
two. Yeah. Combo hits. Oh, the grab is doing work. The grab is doing so much work. One, two, one. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh shit. Oh my god. Fade out the rage art. One, two, oh! <laughs> one, two, one. Fade out the rage art. Yeah. One, two, yeah. one. One, yeah, two, yeah. one. Oh, nice. Fish for the counter hit. I love it. I love it. It's so it's solid. No <laughs> gaps in the defense. It's so solid. <laughs> you win. Oh. Right from London, Birmingham. <laughs> Let's go. Round one. Fight. Oh. Counter hits. Oh, okay. Oh, God, I forgot to do anything else. I've been so focused on doing this. Okay, whiff punish. What? <laughs> Unbreakable defense. Oh, shit. Ah. I spoke too soon. <laughs> yeah, and after you block the punches, you probably get one two one again, which is really nice. Oh, she ducked under Reina stuff. What? Oh my God! Grabbed her out of that. Oh my god. <laughs> nice with punish. Yes. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I punish? Are we alive? No, we're dead. Oh, we're alive. Oh. Uh, okay. Round three. Okay. Fight. <sighs> Keep blocking low. Yeah. Come on. Okay. Nice. Wow, that was solid timing. Alright, so she's breaking that one throw, right? Try the up forward one plus two throw. Oh shit, okay. heat smash. That's also a good thing to use. Yeah, they're running two? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every time you start running the running two, it gets ugly for her, right? So you get like one knockdown or Sonic Fang, and you just start running that. Running two. And then you can do the up forward one plus two throw. Yup. Timing god. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Now you just Better do running two again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Give me the side back. <laughs> oh, what a read. Oh my god. She didn't want to take the throw. Oh my god. Final round. Fight. Okay. Yeah, okay, so we're chilling, we're chilling. She does no damage. Yeah, and then she does that. And now we're now we're chilling. Now it's our turn again. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Running two, yes. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. The reverse sweep. Yo. Yo. <laughs> that was fire. That guy got mixed. Oh my god. Yeah, but my downside is if I do my um, command grab, I have to do it immediately again. Yeah, yeah. So we'll give you a very basic way to like play around that, right? So go ahead, return to standby. And what you're going to do if the opponent is... Uh, if you swap sides and the opponent and you you, you you know you want to grab right 
Yeah. And usually it'll work. But what if they know that you want to do that? They'll probably duck or something like that, right? So you just can go for running two in that situation. So hit the throw. And say they know your grab is coming. Just do running two at them. Yeah. Yeah. And that's your mix-up. And now they have to guess between whether they want to duck. Can they even break the throw in the first place? Or will you do the throw again? And you can kind of loop that, right? Like running two into that is really, really good. And then honestly, even oh. if you're on your offside, you still have one, two, one. <laughs> so it's like, you'll be good. Uh -huh. One, two, one, one, two, one. So, yeah, after I heat dash, it's just, it's just a guessing game for both of us then. You have so much of an advantage that it really is worse for them by a long shot. What's be like a very solid way to always follow it up? The heat dash? Yeah, yeah, so after the heat dash, you have your running two. That's like you're catching them ducking. You have your throw, which is also pretty good. But say you don't want to swap sides, you could do your down back uh, three two, your stomp. Down back. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. And like I have, I, I didn't use this at all during. The yeah, fight, right? yeah. So something you can like get comfortable with in practice mode eventually is you do heat dash, and then as soon as you do the heat dash, you step on their feet. Yeah. Um, like right now, my lows are just this or this yes another key low you can use I, this is the one i forgot to mention is you hit down to one down down two yeah oh. this this is a fucked up low because it has that mid in it it's safe so even if they block the low they have to stand back up to block the mid and the mid is safe oh. so this is a really good like killing like end of the round you want to kill them they have to block the low and the mid. And then it has a third hit. If you do down 2-1-2. Two, two, down 2. It counter hits for a combo. So I, I don't recommend spamming that. I recommend you save that for when like they're getting really annoyed with down 2-1. And then you hit this. The other caveat that I'll give you that is, again, something you could probably lab off stream or something, is down 2-1, you have to do that forward 3 duck cancel to make it safe. And I'll, I'll just write these down so you have that for reference. Okay, sweet. But yeah, we're still on that 1-2-1 one, one game. We get the heat uh, engager. We can step on their feet. We can keep throwing them, honestly. The, the, the low is just kind of a substitute for the throw, right? Like, they both kind of serve a similar purpose. It's to beat somebody who's just stand guarding. So... Not the end of the world. And then if you do do that uh, running th running two again, I recommend yeah. not holding forward so you don't get that cancel into the launch again. You just want to do uh, running two again and uh, keep your heat state. Because Steve's heat is really nasty, especially with the, the super you can use. Oh god, a Mishima! Alright, so Jin. Jin hates jabs, but he does have this big low that goes under them. So we're going to do a lot of one two one, but... There is the chance he can start like low sweeping you to go underneath it. So we'll look, keep an eye out for that. And if that happens, we'll just do other shit. But otherwise, one two one is really, really good. Oh, he's scared. There we go. That's the low sweep. Oh my god, back one's fire. Oh my god. Hooking him. So that's a, that's one of the few strings with a low in it. Jin has a few. Oh, Wi-Fi. Okay. Oh, he blocked. That's not the punish, Jin. Oh. So a lot of the okay, stuff okay. that you block from this guy, you'll want to do one, one, two on. Uh, I need to hit him in the legs. Yeah, that too. Fuck your legs. Fuck your legs. <laughs> Ooh. Nice. Yup. Ooh, he ducked. Yes. <laughs> Oh. oh yeah, I'm panicking. 
Oh shit, bodied? Oh, oh my god, he did a stance. Okay, nice, nice, nice. So the two plus three you're using, that trigger button to get into heat, you could do that once you're in heat as well, and Steve's is really, really good. To like burn your heat and use like a super, like a heat smash. Okay, nice. Running two, solid. Yeah. Oh, too much advantage. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. Round four. Fight. Ah. Oh. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh cooked him. Okay. This is what I call funny lads. That's a knockout. Good night. It just has over here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it goes through my crap tab. Yeah, so so Rage Art has like super super armor, like nothing can get through, or it goes through everything. Oh god! Final round, fight. Nice. Okay. All right. Oh. It's okay, chillin'. My number one weakness! You still have one, two, one, and you still have the chance to find the throw after. Oh. Oh, oh god. Now this is what I call fun. Oh, you mashed! Let's go! Okay, so he has rage, so you can probably run up to him and block. Okay. Okay, he went into heat first. Okay, yes. Now we forward one plus two. Doosh, doosh, doosh. Got him! Oh my Let's go! God. <laughs> he won't be throwing me off a cliff. These are the fists of a champion. Hmm, he does a lot of lows. So yeah, yeah. I should be forward. But he does do a lot of lows, but they're not killing you, right? So like, go ahead, rematch. Yeah, yeah. So he's doing like the low hit into the string, but the damage isn't worth answering it yet, right? Because he's not getting enough mileage out of it to make you stop doing what you're doing. So I say you answer the lows if they start like really killing you, but so far like you take like one and you're fine and then you end up out damaging him anyways. Oh, okay. Yep. One, two, one. Yes, yes, yes. Make it a one, one two, two, one. One, two, one. One, two, one. <laughs> yep. Yup. That was all guaranteed. Oh my god. Just punch him in the face. Yep. That's the most effective strategy. One, two. Okay. Oh, wait. He's punching me in the face. <laughs> He's got me on the ropes, coach! <laughs> so a, a key this is this is a key round. After you take a hit, you usually have to block because they have so much advantage they can hit you again and outspeed you. So after you take a hit, we block. Oh wow, or you can weave, I guess. Damn! Okay. <laughs> yes, you usually block after you take a hit, and then your turn will come back after you block their next move. But that weave was insane. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so we block. Nice. That was not a bad response. That was not a bad response. Yeah, yeah. You block after, and then... Oh. I thought he was going to quit. <laughs> okay. You still have heat. Probably worth using. Running two is good, too. Oh, nice. Yes. Yes. 
Oh, okay, okay, okay. So now we know when he gets scared, right? He's gonna rage art. So you can just. He always yeah, yeah. blows. He he's always a, blows. Yep, yep. <laughs> he is a blower. Yeah, and then instead of Sonic Fang, there you can do your running too, so you get like more advantage. Okay. Yep, good grab, good grab. It's gonna break the floor. No, it's not. Oh. Ah. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's fine. Oh. I'm sorry. No, 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 it's cool. Solid 1-1. One, one. We still got our 1-2-1. One, one. If the side swap, you still have your running two. You still have your back one. You know, we got our, our punches are still okay. good to slow him down. And then you can get your throw. Go back to the fundamentals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Back in the, tr back in the gym, you know, with the bag 1-2-1. One, one. Okay, he grabbed. Okay, that swap sides. Yep. Oh yes, that was a counter hit. Okay. Yes. Oh my God, he's getting shit off. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah, yeah. So on the offside, he's hitting buttons a lot too, right? So if you block and then find ah, your one two ones, right. you still get a lot of damage. One, two, three. Oh. Okay. No. Okay. Low mix up. <laughs> oh, wow. Aye. Okay. Ah. ah, that's all right. That's all right. Is that a left uh, one grab? Or two yeah, that's a one grab. But the one, yeah, the, that that was a one throw. Yeah. Good try. That's a good whiff punish. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, he's getting good. Oh, 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 oh my god. This is what I call fun. Oh my god. He's dead. Good night. Round four. Yo, that was fire. Fight. Oh. Yep. Yeah, up forward one's a good choice here. You can also up forward two because he keeps ducking a lot. Yep. That also beats throws. That's really good. Okay. Oh. Good try, good try, good try. Okay. He's so scared of the rage art and everything else is hitting him. Oh my god, timing god. Very nice. Oh, I'm the champ. <laughs> I'm not throwing enough low combos. Also, I'm fucking on my one two one so bad. Yeah, yeah. So, so the way I see it with the lows is if you could play Steve, where you don't really have to use it because you're counter hitting them and you're like with punishing them, that's fine. Like that's totally fine. The lows come into play when your opponent is like blocking a lot, and you can't find the counter hits. But this Jin is attacking into you so much that it's honestly okay. Get ready for the next battle. The way you're playing, honestly, the way you're playing is good. As you get more comfortable, we'll swap out some moves for others, right? So, like, the way you're using Sonic Fang to, like, kind of zone them is, is good, except that Sonic Fang is unsafe on block. So, once you get really comfortable, that will become, like, QCF1. 
as like uh, your keep out like zoning move, right? And then your your down back three two will become what your throws are right now, right? So the style you're doing, honestly, I think is is great. It's it's gonna work perfectly. We're just gonna get comfortable and then slowly trade out moves for more optimal ones. Get ready for the but this is kind of the Steve thing. It's like if they whiff, you whiff punish. If they swing at you, you counter hit, and you only really go low if they start chilling out a bunch and like doing Ragnarok. nothing. This guy is nasty. We'll have to see. Well, Wait, he's, he's got a toast. He's a <laughs> sniper. <laughs> Okay, let's grab. Oh, it's SpongeBob. Oh my god, wait, do we live? Oh, and he's dead! You thought you get that beyond! Oh my god! Good night. Round two. Fight. Oh, okay. That's fine. Oh my god. That was fire. That's a knockout. Good night. I got stuck you in the head, man. <laughs> oh, backswing, nice. He whiffed. Huge whiff punish. Ah, oh my him. god, wait. Who wins? Don't let him he died. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Give me a hug. <laughs> one, two, one. Oh, that was huge. That was a huge one, two, one. one. Yup. Oh one, two, my god. <laughs> that was almost 500 IQ. Holy oh, shit. Okay. Yep, we're in heat. Grabbed him out of his armor. Love that. Okay. Unsafe, but one, he has two, no one. punishment. Yep, one, two, one. Yep. One, two, one. I think he's scared. He's jabbing. Yep. Okay. We watch his rage art a little bit, but we're okay. Okay. Oh, what a back one. Oh my god. You can't be throwing out jabs like that. <laughs> oh. My fault. I punched the mic. That was insane. <laughs> yeah. One, two. Holy shit. Timing God. Whiff punish God. Oh, we're cooking. Fight. Whiff punish God. Yup. <laughs> oh. Give me a hug. Oh, give me a hug. Oh my god. Are you a blue? Man? You blue? <laughs> Come on, blue on me. Suck it. Round two. Fight. Oh, okay, oh, yeah. That's unlucky. It's granted. Okay, yeah, we'll whip on the This is insane. <laughs> one, two, one. One, two, one. One, two, one. Oh, jeez. Okay, that's fine. He's on to me, coach. Nah, nah, nah. You're chilling. Good heat smash. I like that. Uh oh. Okay, we're dancing. Uh oh. Oh my god, we live. Oh my god. Probably one more mix up. So you can go like running two. One more mix up? You can do like okay. running two and then like hit down one, probably. Oh no, he's dead. Oh, Never he's mind. Dead. My he's dead. Completely irrelevant calculation. Fight. <laughs> okay. Oh my god, delayed stance. <laughs> okay. Okay, he's jabbing, right? No big deal. No big deal. We just block. Oh my god, this combo. This combo. Okay, that's fine. Oh, let's go. 
that's against me! We're not too afraid of his rage. Oh. <laughs> Don't kill his ass! Watch his heat smash. Okay, we're chilling, we're chilling. So what I was gonna say is, uh, we're not too afraid of his rage art because he was one hit from dying anyways. So you could just do running two at him, you could hit him with a low, but didn't matter. Holy moly. Still not throwing in any legs. Though. Legs as in I'm, kicks? Kicks, I mean like lows, and I'm not using peekaboo at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that shit, low key, does not matter right now because you are dom dominating them on the whiffs and the counter hits, right? People aren't going to block for a while, so you can't even really use peekaboo while people aren't blocking, right? Like, uh, technical Steve's will correct me because there are options for that, but it's, it's, way more, it's way more mental stack than it's worth, I think. If you can just win with whiff punishment, block punishment, and, like, your very basic combos, that is, like, to me, the fundamentals through, like, up to the intermediate level, like, immediately. Get ready for the so, like, what, you, what you're doing is, like, perfect. Well, what does he do? Yoshimitsu does a lot of bullshit. <laughs> so we're gonna we're gonna see what this guy wants to do. Whatever this guy's in the mood to do, we will deal with. Round one. Okay. The only Asian. I okay. punch him in the head. Oh god. Yep. Oh okay. man. So he he likes running in the back one. We like that. Oh my god. Okay. Four four two. Nice. Grabbed him. Wow. He broke that. That's crazy. He stabbed me, coach. <laughs> it's okay. We can take it for the queen. <laughs> All right, so that's a two-hit string, and so we just got to keep blocking on that. Oh my god, the time. The time. Oh, okay. He's afraid of your rage art. Oh my god. And he's a blower. Oh, here comes the punish. <laughs> Oh, we try. That one you can Sonic Fang after you block, yeah. It's just a bit fast. Okay, we're chilling, we're chilling. He has no meter, no resources, we're chilling. We're good. Okay. Oh, oh god. I'm gonna run in and punch him! Yep, no low key. That's low key what we gotta do, yep. Yeah. Now he's scared. He's like, I don't wanna throw this lead, okay. Okay, so if he's zoning with that move, you just tap forward a few times and then just keep holding back between and he'll eventually blow it. Nice, nice. No, oh, for the low, yup. Oh my God, that is Yoshimitsu car. Oh my God, yeah. No fucking way. Oh shit. Okay, yeah, just watch the second hit. Watch the second hit. Nice. Oh, frame trap with the back one. We love that. That is textbook Tekken. Running two. What is he doing? He's rolling forward. <gasps> Good read. That's okay. It's okay. We just block after. Chilling. Nice. Good block on that. Oh, cook his ass. Nice block. He's so scared of the rage art, bro. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Well. Oh, okay. That's a one break. Nice. No. And he gets a low after. It's unfortunate. That's okay. Is that, is that guaranteed? Uh, I think so. I think that one's guaranteed. Nice. Good block. Second hit. Ah. Yep. Oh, yep. Flicker stance going crazy. Appa. Yes. Yes, back one! Oh, that was good. That was good. That was good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So after you do the running two and they block it, they can't interrupt your back one. You have too much frame advantage. So running two into back one is a really good choice also. Which is yeah, a, basically like what you were doing already. If I'm sticking to my jabs, I usually do a lot better. Yeah. Because it's just so annoying. It is. Yeah, yeah. They want to find a chance to play. And if they play at the wrong time, you blow them up. It's fire. One. Fight. 
Uh, oh, okay. Just respect second hit. Okay. Oh, all right. Yep. Aye, that was good timing by him. What? He's he's tweaking. He jumped. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. This is so cool and unusual. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you stop running too. And his rage art won't kill you. So, Or you can just whip punish him. My fault. Damn. Oh, he's dead. He's dead. Yep. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Okay, he did his armor move. That's a good answer. Ooh, back one out the air. Nice float conversion. Okay. Oh, 442. Slap him. Oh my god, he picked too slow of a move. Oh my god, beat his ass. Yup. <laughs> Your head on the ground. Fight. You don't want to go, baby. Oh, shit. <laughs> Good block. Yep, yep. We just chill. Nice. Oh my god. Lost into one, two doing work. Okay, one break. Nice. Oh. Nice block in the heat smash. We're chilling. Ah, uh, that's all right. It didn't kill. <gasps> uh oh. Oh. Yes, good blocks. Nice, good punish. Yes, that's what we want. Oh, second hit. Jeez. All right, we still have running two. You know, we got our big pressure moves. Oh, second hit. Yep, I was about to say, good good time to grab. You got running two still? Oh. No! Oh. The guy sucked! <laughs> <laughs> it's alright, so the only adjustment we need is uh, that back, that, that, is, that, that, that like elbow into the, the sword stab he's doing. We just, uh -huh. gotta, we just gotta not get hit by that and we're chilling. And then when, he's, right. when you find a window, you do your running two, you could pressure him. Did it freeze? Did he? Oh, he rematched. Okay. Cool. Oh, oh. Oh, man. I was going to school his bitch ass. So here's another really good thing, right? So go into heat with your heat engager, the running two. Or oh, that works too. And then backdash like twice. What's a backdash? Uh, just hit back back. Oh, man. Okay, it's okay. okay. You can play him too. <laughs> so basically you're the the move that burns all your meter the heat smash when you hit uh two plus three when you're already in heat yeah. does has insane range it's a safe mid and it gives you like a mix-up after so it's a really good move to use when you're already in heat wait it's the same guy yeah yeah, yeah. you got your run back Fire. Round one. Fight. okay Nice. Yep, good block. Oh. Ah. Ah. Oh. Just give me a hug, man. Just give me a hug. <laughs> ah, so bad. Fight. Nice break, okay. Breaking the throws, and he's not. 
Yes, running two. Yes, combo. Yep. Doing a lot. Oh my god, sway one one. No big deal. Oh my god. Wait, he converted! He converted! Oh, okay, good try, good try. Okay, he's no heat. Oh, what a back one! <gasps> okay, it's okay, it's okay. You survive, you survive, you survive, you survive. Oh no, I didn't convert on my hit counter hit. Yep, we're still alive. And now he's afraid of our rage, so honestly, if you oh now this is what I call fun. Good punish, okay, okay. No, no, why did I blow? I'm a blower. I'm a blower. <laughs> Oh, he spun out. Wow. Yep. That move is kind of annoying, but we could just chill. Oh, he smashed. Jesus. Yes. Yes. Good choice. Good choice. A bit far, but it works. Oh, okay. Oh, my God. He mashed. Ah! Oh. No. Good try, good try, good try. All right, we got the rematch. I think I need to be blocking more. I'm not yeah, blocking. yeah. So, so he's zoning you with that really annoying move, the, the his back two two, right, with the sword stab at the end, or he does the big yeah. jumping circular sword move. So, is there a way I can punish him? Yeah. So the big circular jumping one, you can Sonic Fang. And if he does uh, okay. the sword high, that one is safe but duckable. But what I recommend is just blocking until he does the jumping one, and then Sonic Fanging the jumping one. Jumping one. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And, and when you move in neutral, you can just do like forward and back, forward and back. Just really small movements to get him to do it. That worked too, jeez. And then once you're in close range, beat his ass. But when he's like far away like this, let him do that, and then Sonic Fang that. Yup. That works on block two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then now you have the advantage, you just run. Okay, yeah. Oh. That's what we be careful for, but aside from that, you're chilling. You're doing great. Good block on the heat smash. After he does the heat smash, you usually have to block. Okay, he's trolling. Nice. Good patience. Yeah, when he does his big super and blows his, his heat like that, you have to block after he gets a mix up. Good punish. Yes. Oh boy. Yep. Don't slow down on here because he wants to zone you with the thingy. His back to two. Ah. Yep, he has the one throw. Is that? That's a one break, yeah. We have to block here. Nice break on the throw, yes. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, did it work? He respected nah. it. He respected Oh, but he messed up the punish. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I just need a boss. I just block you, moron. Oh, jeez. Yeah, yeah, On wake up, we want to block also. Oh my god, he broke the wall. Hey, okay, okay. Oh, god. Keep blocking a little longer. Just block a little bit longer. You want him to get so annoyed that you're blocking? Yeah, that we get the punish here. And then just keep breaking the throw. He's going to run up and do the one throw, right? But aside from that, we just chill. Nice. Yep, and then he's punishable. Love it. Yep, beat his ass. Yep, get him. Okay, that's okay. We're gonna ignore that. We're gonna pretend that didn't happen. Final round. Fight. Right? So now he knows you're just chilling out. So we'll have to like play mind games a little bit, like move a little bit forward, but we're still gonna block. Oh my god, we're cooking him. We're cooking him. Oh my god. All right, same thing. Just move forward a little bit, but don't commit. Okay, wow. He's, he's mashing. Yep. Good, good. Oh my god. Woo! Reverse sweep again! Run that back! Oh, I'm gonna beat your ass! Fight. 
Yes, good patience. Yeah. Okay, yeah, a little low poke. Oh my god, we went under his jab. Mm. Yup! Round two. Fight. Okay. He just ran into it. He's getting impatient. Oh, he's getting impatient. Yup. Yup. Okay. Oh, back one. That was actually a cool conversion. Holy. Oh, it had a parry because he was in heat. Oh. I've never seen that. That was cool. Nice punish. Wow. Yes, exactly. Okay. Composure. Yep. And then we punish. And it's so simple. It's so simple. Round three. Come on. Come on. You got to grab me? I don't want to get grabbed. Eat my fist. Oh Eat my wrist. Jab, put, put, jab. Uh oh. Okay. It's okay. Yep. He's always doing the one grab. So we'll try and react with the R1. Okay. Oh, I need to be blocking. I need yeah, to be blocking. Yep. yep, yep, yep. You're good. Keep on blocking. And there's the punish. For free. They just give it to us. Oh it's free. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> okay. Ah, uh, okay, okay. That's the one grab? Yes, yes. This guy is only doing his one grab, so. Got it. Oh, god. Counter hit, love it. Yep, just keep blocking, we're chilling. Yeah, that's the right punish. 1 1 2 is right there, but uh, a bit slow. He's grabbing, oh my god. Yep. 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 Okay. One <laughs> it will whip, but it's okay. <laughs> Oh my god. Hit. Dog. <laughs> All right. This is cooking. Is there anything I should modify in my playstyle? Uh Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. So, uh go ahead return to standby. Uh Get ready for the next So far, still getting comfortable and that's good. The whiff punishments there, the block punishments there is what we want. When you block a move that's unsafe and you want to uh, punish it with your jabs, that's when we do 1-1-2, one, one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is all guaranteed if the first jab hits. But 1-2-1 one, one is only guaranteed on counter hit. So when the Yoshi's oh. doing the unsafe stuff, we do 1-1-2 one, one, as our punish. But when we're like interacting in the neutral or playing around each other and trying to find counter hits, that's when we do 1-2-1. One, one. Yeah. So it's two slightly different strings, two slightly different use cases. You're not, it's never the end of the world if you, you know, pick one over the other. But that's kind of like the optimal place is like if you block a move and it's punishable, you do 1-1-2. One, one, if you are just moving around trying to counter hit him, you 1-2-1. One, one. I'm realizing that I'm having trouble with 1-2-1 one, because one, I'm pressing 1, lifting my thumb off, pressing 2, lifting my thumb off, uh, pressing 1. Yeah. And I'm kind of old. Yeah, yeah. So can I just keep my thumb held down and just like smear it against yeah one, two, yeah one. yeah try that try that oh yeah, i have an i have an xbox pad here so let me let me try it too yeah yeah you could just you could just keep your thumb in between it i know some pad players will play with like you know claw like two fingers on the right side like their index and middle i don't know which is best because i don't play on it that much but i think both work But yeah, if you have your fingers in that smear position, it probably makes it easier to break throws too, because you can pick either one. Okay. Yeah. So a few options, but yeah, as long as it's not causing pain or anything, I think anything works. So what I've been doing a lot is I know people at my rank is just we're just taking turns. Like I punch, punch, punch. He yeah. punch, punch, punch. So what's been working is the one two one into the low. Because yeah. I think at this level, people either stay crouch blocking or stay standing blocking. They don't yeah. change midway. 
A lot of the people have been mashing in between two, so the regular mid extension would have also been just as good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So the, the low is really nice on counter hit. On regular hit, it's okay. Um, oh, let's see. You're not matchmaking. So I can show... I want to show another cool thing. So when you've been doing back one, two... Yeah. You see how he's like right foot forward and then he starts dancing? Yeah. So this dance has three options, right? And we've been kind of just doing the two on autopilot because it's like part of our combo. So that stance is called... Uh, the stance is called Lionheart. It's a little dancey stance, right? Mm-hmm. Three options. Uh, you hit one, two, or one plus two. So go ahead, try each one just to see what it looks like. It's just either of the punch buttons or both at the same time, yeah. So this one is nice. That one's a mid, it's safe, and it's really fast. That one is, uh, as you can see, a launcher, but it's unsafe on block. So generally, we don't use it as much, although at this level, people aren't really doing much, so you can kind of just throw it out and it's fine. And if I land it, I just do my... Yeah, you just kind of do your basic combo. Okay. And then the other option, when you hit both punch buttons at the same time, is this big high. Right? And if they block it, you get a 1-1-2 one, one, for free. A 1-1-2 one, one, for free? Yeah. But not a 1-2-1. One, one, Correct, because it's not a counter hit. Unless for some reason they decided to mash. Uh... If you want to keep it simple, you can also get a 2-2. Two, two. But uh, I want to nail that 1-1-2 one, one, muscle memory, so that's why I'm telling you 1-1-2 one, one, for now. Got it. Yeah, you can queue up again if you like. But yeah, that's how the stance works. So if you ever see yourself getting that big like uppercut, you'll know that you're in that stance, and uh, you can try other options if you like. Not necessarily. Yeah. Get ready for the next battle. Devil Chin. <laughs> Don't miss me winning. <laughs> Tony says hi. Hello. <laughs> Fight. Yeah, I'm streaming on a call coaching. What the fuck? Yeah. Okay. Okay, nice. So against oh this guy, uh -huh. against this guy, you might not get a lot of grabs on him, but your 1-2-1 one, one and back one are going to have a lot of mileage because he's going to be advancing into you a lot. Yep. One, two, three, five. Yes. And then, yeah, your whiff punishment is going to be super important too. Yeah, nice. Oh my god. Fight. <laughs> okay. He's attacked. There's no way. <gasps> he backdashed. Okay. Yes, you can Sonic Fang that if you block those three punches. Oh, I like that. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, oh good try. I, that was, I, I like that you were blocking there. That's good. Nice. Yeah. Those three punches? Yep, Sonic Fang. I love it. Oh, yeah. wow. Wait, that's that's Fang punishable? Yeah, it's because his, his, that punch string is honestly overpowered. So, like, it's good that it's Fang punishable. <laughs> Do you remember? Oh. Do you remember? <laughs> oh, my God. Sit down. Oh, 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 Sit down. Oh, oh. I said, don't yep, yep. you are for me. Give me a hug, though. Yep, yeah, yep. It's all love here. <laughs> you win. Um, These are Mr. Champion.
Let's go. But you're you're smurfing on this on this queue. You're 12 win streak. <laughs> oh wait, no, that was his 12 win streak. You denied him. Nice. Wait a minute. Yeah, that's a good punish too. Any punish is better than no punish. And we'll just block the third hit. That's cool. Punch, punch, punch. Punch, punch, punch. Yep. Oh, we're punishing. It's getting so ugly for the yellow ranks. Pump, punch, punch. Okay, that one's safe, but that's fine. One, two, punch. Okay, third hit. Nice whip punish. Yep. Yeah. I'm not doing the super punch anymore, I'll be honest. Oh, he mashed! He's dead! Round two. Fight. Okay, yes, he, he's trying to hell sweep. On those two hits, yeah, you can do while standing one, too. Where he does the flies at you and does two hits. Okay, hell sweep. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah. Give me a hug. Or you can grab him. That works. Yeah, you can 1-1-2 that. Yeah, that's a correct punish. Just a bit faster. Nice whip punish. Oh. That's okay. He blew his heat. He is in rage, but he hasn't shown us anything. Oh, okay, that laser's a high. <laughs> He's cheesing. Duck? Oh. Yeah. So, that's like a devil gin cheese move, but it's just a high laser. We can duck it. <laughs> yes. Oh my god, I'm getting cooked. Oh my god, that is fire. One, one, two. Oh. Nice, that was the one, two, one. That was the perfect one, two, one usage. Yep. Oh, oh, okay, nice combo. Damn. Okay. Sorry, I was coaching the wrong guy. <laughs> yep, Sonic Fang. No throw break. He whiffed. Okay, that's cool. Keep blocking. Oh my god! Uh, yeah. Is that combo like easy for him to do? Yeah. He just hits four and then mashes one plus two. Oh, he messed it up. Wow. Okay, my fault. My fault. <laughs> Made assumption. Yeah. Yep. You just gotta punish a little bit faster, but you're doing the right moves. That one is safe. Yes, nice. Yeah, that'll work just a bit faster. Oh, second hit. No, I'm sorry, coach. It's okay, that's okay. <laughs> that's okay, that's okay. It's looking pretty good, honestly. Like, what you're doing is good. Your punish attempts are just a bit slow. You can mash them okay. while you're recovering from the block stun. So you can actually hit it a bit earlier. And then it will just come okay. out as soon as the, your character is ready. Round one. Fight. Okay. Wow, oh, he's messing it up. Well, he's trying to do a weird setup, I guess. I can hit nice. You can one one two then. Good block in the third hit. Yes, very nice. Okay, that's fine. That one's a one one two. Very nice. Oh, he's dead? Yep. 
Oh, what? a little slow, a little slow. That's okay. Oh, God. Ah, oh, that's okay, God. that's okay. I had the finish. One, two, fight. Oh, second hit. Yes. Ah. Ah. Coach, I'm losing it. That's okay. That's okay. It. This game, this game is taxing. So you've been, you've been so locked in. It's hard to keep up, but uh, you're doing the right things. It's just a bit slow. Ooh. Yep. Oh, he's free to throw. Nice, 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 nice. Round four. Fight. Yep, that move you can one one two. Uh, his armored punch. Oh my God, counter throw, nice. Yeah, and you can throw your running two at him because he is doing a lot of standing back, waiting to hit his hell sweep. So. Yeah. Okay. And now his heat is gone. Yes, good punish. Oh, yeah, that one's a 1-1-2 one, one, punish. Can't sign anything out. Okay. Much better, much better. Oh, man. Yep, yep, yep. Fight. Ah. Okay. A little scary, but it doesn't do too much damage. So we're honestly okay. We have to duck that. Aye. Ah. Ah. Uh, okay. Oh my god, we interrupted it. It's scary. Oh. Oh, that was ambitious. That was god. ambitious. I apologize, Cole. You deserve better. <laughs> <It's not bad. laughs> yeah, Devil Jin has a lot to worry about. So it's definitely not like. That's not an uncommon experience. Like he will just be throwing lasers and throwing sweeps at you, and you got to deal with all that. So he's good. Uh, uh, do I have a third throw? Uh, yeah. Let me confirm the input. I think they changed it. Get ready for the next battle. Eighty thousand Tekken power. Don't miss me winning. Yes, you do have another throw, but it's a quarter circle back input. It's kind of annoying to do. Round one. The two throws you have are honestly probably good enough for now. Jesus. So her, you'll probably want to play a lot of block punishment and whiff punishment. So you're 1-1-2, one, one, and then your Sonic Fang once you block stuff. But it'll be a bit tricky. She can be nasty. Good block, yep. Yeah. After she hits you with the low, we have to block because she has that launcher she could do out of it. Oh boy. Wow, what a mash. That was fire. We won't be expecting this! <gasps> oh, oh, there's no way! They never do! They never do, baby! Fight! <laughs> you think you they never Oh shit, they do. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, running two is your friend. That move is really, really good. And you are really good at placing it, honestly. Oh, back. Oh my god, she just does that? Yeah, her strings kind of go on, right? She'll pause a bit and then she has a stance she's in, so we have to chill out a little bit extra longer against her than we like. Right, good block. Is it my turn, man? Yes, she can just kind of do that. It's my turn. <laughs> there we go. I get to go. 
Good blocks, yes. Okay, yeah. Nice whip punish, yes! Yes! The second one, yeah, yeah, okay. If you hit the forward forward two, you could do it again really fast and it should be guaranteed, the second one. Fight. Good blocks. Jesus! Nice. Back it up, lady. You keep blocking. Uh, no. That one's tough. Yeah, it, it's really deceptive. Like, I'm getting hit by it, too. Nice punish. Oh, that's a one break. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, that was a good idea. That was a really good idea. That was close. It was a bit slow. Final round. Fight. Oh. Okay. Wow. Fire. Fire. Oh my god, he's dead. Oh. Hey, what about you win? I'm up for a rematch any time. Okay. Oh, you want round two? Round two? <laughs> Don't miss me winning. Round one. I'm gonna hit it with a sidestep. Oh. Okay. Sidestep. Sidestep. Oh my god, he's getting side cooked. Step. He's getting cooked. Side sidestep. <laughs> side side Good block. Oh go. my god. Oh. Sonic Flash. Wow. That was godlike. Round two. Sidestep! 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 Oh my god. Sidestep! Sidestep! What am I gonna do? Well, I gotta, I gotta steal this strat. This strategy is godlike. Oh my god, you that was that was a perfect punish. Round three. Wait. Sidestep! Oh! Punch! I was wrong, that was not a perfect punish. Side. Sides. Ah, oh God, homing. Come on, come on, come on. Move forward, move forward, move forward. Move forward, Dad. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. You were really close on it. Like, that's always, you're always doing the right choice. It's just slightly slow. You got it, you got it. Come on. Fight. Oh, my God. That was a strange choice, and I'm not gonna lie. Because you weren't really going low, she was just doing it. Okay, she's breaking that throw. Maybe she forgot! Oh! <laughs> oh, the timing! <gasps> that was fire! Running two, yes! Respecting the rage art is good, but you could still attack. Oh, okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Round. Fight. Wow, what an armor. Oh. No, oh, he's doing it. It's getting ugly. Okay. <laughs> oh, nice combo. Ooh, punch berry. Oh my god! Nice. Third hit. Ooh. Oi. So her move. Oh! Oh! I Coach, I did it! Okay, with the HP lead you're gonna have, you can probably just do wall running too, and it will kill her even if she tries to rage art. Never mind. It won't. It won't. I take it back. It won't. It won't. It won't. It doesn't matter. Oh! Oh! No! I should have kept blocking!
I should have kept blocking. Come on, I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, honestly, I probably got hit too. Her stances are really deceptive. Has a my style. Fight armor. Ah. She's baiting out my whips. Oh, oh multiple lows. Okay. 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 I need to go back to the fundamentals. I'll yep, find yep, yep. Good blocks. Oh, so she, yeah, her move ducks under highs sometimes. That's really annoying. Yes, very basic. Love it. Oh. Uh, okay. Nice, good throw. Good block. Yes. Good block. You block her move. It's your turn. You go low. The fundamentals. The fundamentals. The fundamentals. Fundamentals. Fight. Fuck your knees. The Fuck your knees. <laughs> Fuck your knees. And now she's ducking. So we got our mids. Punch. 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 Fuck your knees. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Fuck your knees. Fuck your knees. Oh my god. Fuck your knees. Master. Yo, guys, on knees. Master of the mix-up game. Fuck your knees! <laughs> Fuck your knees! <laughs> hey, now she's afraid. Fuck yeah. your knees! What are we doing? What are we doing? Fuck yeah. your oh, knees. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, okay. Oh, that was the right. That was the right. Right idea. Right idea. One break. Oh shit! You still have running too? Okay, never mind. I didn't even need it. Didn't even need it. Didn't even need it. So she was blocking and we applied the lows. Love it. He's a warrior. Let me leave you with one last tip and then I got to take a quick break. All right. Um, go ahead, return to standby. This is a move. For once, my chat had a great idea. This is a move that will help you approach and is easier to do than running two. You hit three plus four and he spins forward. Oh God, wait. I, I didn't expect to use the other two buttons. Yeah, uh, you, you might. I would use the trigger button. If you have a trigger map to three plus four, that's what we would do. No, not that one. No, no. I, yeah, I got nothing mapped to th uh, three and four. But my two hundred dollar controller is coming in, and that has two extra buttons. Whoa, wait, 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 can I see your button binds? <laughs> oh. uh, controller setup at the bottom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so you you should have an extra. Okay, take the trigger off the rage art one. But how would I do rage art? You do down forward and then your left trigger. So so what I would honestly do, uh, because because it's it's a it's a universal input now. So it's it's oh shit, yeah. So okay, how I would personally map it, I would put um. Let's see, you've had it like this for a little bit. I don't want to fuck you up too bad. But yeah, okay, you could probably just learn it. So down forward, uh, one plus two gives you rage, or it gives you rage art. Uh, down forward, one plus two. Yeah, but that, it, does that feel awkward with it being on the left trigger? I'm so used to just screaming and pressing one button. And <laughs> have to... So the reason I suggest that is because it, it frees up that extra trigger. And this, this one is super important. So yeah, because you you want to spin ooh, forward ooh. and hit two. Oh wait, this makes um, getting to stances so much easier. Yeah, yeah. So that's, that's a big sweet. part of Steve's yeah. stance game is using that. So honestly, let, let me. I'm gonna make this switch, and I'm sorry to do it to your muscle memory, but I think this will be better. So, um, in the controller setup, I want to change your one plus two bind to the right hand also. 
Uh so I want to change yeah, 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 LP plus RP to your right bumper. LP plus RP. Yeah, Wait, yeah. it's been on my left trigger the whole time. I know. I'm sorry to do it to you. I think this is worth it though. I think it's worth it. And then your heat one can be on the left trigger, the two plus three. Yeah, yeah. This Wait, is what I recommend because of how often you'll use the right hand with your directions. Ah. Uh, yeah, yeah. I see what you're right, saying. so it like splits up the work a little better. All right. So, I should have checked this at first. That's my fault. Shitty coaching. But, <laughs> okay. So, so the reason why this is good is now you could do three plus four into two really quickly. And this is your like free approach move. Yeah, this move is free, free approach. So like you could, if you back up, like look at the distance and look at how far he goes. Like he can cover a lot of distance. So instead of trying to do the running two where you're running at them, you spin at them and sometimes you can even go under like some highs. So th this move is really good. So if you feel like you're far away and you want to get in and do your one, two ones and your throw mixes and your back ones, you can get in and close the space with three plus four into two. So the three plus four, they call it albatross span, uh, stance. I don't know what the actual stance is called. Let me look. It's called quick spin in the move list. Quick spin two is really good. Quick spin two. Yeah, and then if you want to be really cheesy, he has quick spin down two for a low. Oh. So you could be really, really annoying at distance. It's one of those things where good players will react to it but the mid is completely safe so you can really just spam the mid from a distance to get in i like the mid option way more than the low i want them to completely forget about the low and then maybe use it to end the round in a really cheesy way but yeah oh man this muscle memory yeah is... i'm so sorry <laughs> no it's good as long as i have this move yes oh. I'm going to catch someone off guard during the tournament with that. Yes. All right. Let me send you these notes I've been taking. Or two. Do you have any other questions for me for now? I have to get off for a little bit, but then I'm gonna. We should definitely do this again sometime. Thank you very much for the help, Coach. Um, yeah. I just ignore Peekaboo stance for now, right? Yes, yes. You can pretty much ignore Peekaboo stance for now. Peekaboo stance, and uh, the main one you want to get comfortable with is that Lionheart stance that comes out of forward two two, uh, comes out of your down back three two. Um. It comes out of, oh, yeah, when your heat smash is blocked, you're going to be in that stance automatically. So set the set the CPU to block real quick. Uh, yeah, offense, training, standing block. Yeah. So do your heat bursts. Oh, I already forgot. Where's uh, my button? I think it's left trigger. Yeah, yeah. And then just hit left trigger again. After your, yeah, yeah. To blow your heat on heat smash. Yeah. yeah. Oh. You have to set the second action to block as well, because he's tanking the second hit. 
Uh, yeah, yeah, there we go. So do the yeah, do the heat burst, and then this is the heat smash, and you'll see Steve is in stance. If you just want to get out of stance here, just hit one. That's the safe mid punch. Okay. Yeah, and then you just hit one. That's how you get out of that. Um, it should be completely uninterruptible, so you're not at risk of like eating anything if you just want to get out of the stance. And then the one thing to also remember is that that lion heart. Um, yeah, I'll guard break. So the 1 plus 2 is a guard break, you get a free 1 1 2. Chat's gonna tell you you also get a free 2 2, but the 1 1 2 is easier and it'll build that muscle memory for your punishment. So I think it's worthwhile. Wait, but 2 2 is easier pressing than 1 1 2. You can also do that too. Yeah. So you can do that guard break and then just mash 2 2. And it's guaranteed. Uh, but you have to be. You have to mash it so that it comes as soon, like, as, soon as possible. Yeah. Okay, got it. Both work. I like the one one two just so like we get a we get like this internal mental obsession with one one twoing. <laughs> but the two two also, is two two is better. Do I ever use regular sidestep or is Steve's sidestep just the same thing? Regular sidestep is better, but you honestly don't have to worry about sidestep right now. There are some situations where you'll want to do it, but I honestly don't think that's as important now as as moving like forward and back. I think sidestep is more like way later down the road when people have offense that's like really sophisticated and you have to sidestep to get around it. But I don't think you're going to run into that for a while. Understood. Thank you very much, Coach. Yes. I feel like I got a lot better this session. Yeah, thank you for having me. Hopefully we can do it again and uh, I'll follow up with some more things you can, uh, you can do too. Sounds good. Thank you. Have a good day. Cheers, man. Have a good one. That was pretty fire. So I have to go, but I'm going to be back at midnight. I'm going to be back at midnight for the, uh, the announcement, okay? So I'm going to raid Toast Stream. Be nice to him. Don't, over, don't overwhelm him. I didn't teach him everything because you have to like, start with like, the fun shit. Like, it's fun to hit this move. It's fun to hit this other move. It's fun to hit this other move. And then... And then... You take that working information and then we go into punishment and stuff like that. Okay, so for now we're keeping it simple. We'll move on. It's a process. Alright, so I'm going to send him these notes. I'm going to rate his stream, send him these notes, and then I will be back in like three hours. Maybe four, alright? I'm sorry I couldn't answer every question tonight, but I will be back on later tonight answering way more questions. So feel free to come back. All right. Have a good evening, everybody. Peace out. That was fire.